Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install BlueStacks emulator on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. So just open your favorite browser and search for BlueStacks and the first link which will appear here will be from bluestacks.com. So just uh, click on this link and once you click on this link, this website will open. So here you can see it's bluestacks.com. From uh, this drop down menu, you can select the language in which you want to view this website. I have chosen English from here. And then you can see Bluestacks 5 is available at the time of making this video. So I'm going to just click on this uh, button which says download Bluestacks 5, which is going to start the download of Bluestacks exe file. So this exe file is a few kilobytes, so it will be downloaded very fast. So just click on this exe file and minimize the browser. And first of all, it's going to show you this kind of warning. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes. And now you can see Bluestacks installer has been started on your Windows 10 operating system. So here you can directly see the install now button. But also here in the side, you can also see the customize installation link. So just click on customize installation link. And from here, you can change the location of Bluestacks if you want to change it to some other drive, right? So just click on this folder icon and then choose some other drive if you uh, need to change the drive from here, okay? So once you have provided the location where you want to uh, install Bluestacks, and you can see the space requirement also here. So it's going to take around 6,120 megabyte on your uh, PC, okay? So once you are happy with both these uh, settings, you can go back and then click on install now button. And it's going to start the installation of Bluestacks on your Windows 10 operating system. So you can see in the starting, it's going to download around 400 megabytes. So it will take some time. So I'm going to just wait for the download to complete. So now the download is complete. So you just need to wait at this point until uh, this screen appears. And now you can see it's checking the system requirements. So just wait for some time once again. So basically everything is happening automatically. So you don't need to change or uh, uh, click anywhere just wait for some time and now i can see these icons are created on my desktop which is for bluestacks 5 and the bluestacks 5 multi instance manager but still installation is going on so i'm going to wait for some more time and now i can see bluestacks is starting so while it's starting let me maximize this screen and you can see at the top this menu and then you can click on the settings option from here and you can see there are a few settings you can uh, change from here so the first setting is for cpu allocation you can change it according to uh, the pc configuration you have in my pc i can have up to four cores right but i will leave it as default for now also, you can customize the memory uh, allocation from here, enable high frame rate and other settings are here. You can also change the display settings, graphics settings, and in the preferences, you can change the language and other preferences. You also have the device settings, so you can choose uh, which device you want to uh, use. So you can choose which device profile you want to use for this emulator. And then you have uh, some advanced settings from here for your uh, uh, Android debug bridge and input debugging. And at last you have about. So which version of Bluestacks you have on your Windows operating system, you can know about it from here. I'm going to close this. Also, you have the same settings icon here. So you can uh, click on this and the same settings option you will be able to see from there also. And then you have the open macro manager here. So here you can see record new macro. So you can uh, record and import macros to automate uh, some boring tasks in game according to uh, this, right? So now this Bluestacks app 
has been started on my Windows 10 operating system and now you will see more options on the right hand bar here right so you can just play with all these options and see what you can do with these options you can also sign in to your uh, Google Play Store uh, account so that you will be able to download any game in this emulator and from this game center option you will be able to download all the games which are available on bluestacks and at last you have the system apps for example if you want to uh, use chrome app or you want to change some settings in your android emulator then you can uh, then you can use these system apps for those purposes so this is how you can download and install bluestacks app on your windows 10 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video